Hey Mops, what's going on? No, I'm not doing the toy review. Yes, I'm, I don't know, like, wait a second. If I'm here, there's no toys, but there's a little bubble right here. What's going on? Why is the audio sound weird too? That because, my good friends, I'm going on C2E2. I announced it, I think, last week, right? Uh, probably for me to film this. Um, today's August the 4th, which today is day zero of Comic-Con. C2E2, sorry, I call it Comic-Con, but yeah. Um, yeah, and so I, I decided to do a mini blog, I guess. Um, you know, prior to the con, and also I'm gonna be, I mean, there's gonna be two videos. I mean, this one and the other one where I do the traditional, you know, showing off the convention, what's, what's, uh, what, what is selling, and, um, the cosplayers, and then if I meet anyone's, uh, famous, celebrity wise, voice actor or actor, um, if I can get their permission to film, or, you know, at least a photograph or something, like, hey, I met this, usually will be, you know, to towards the end of the video, or if, you know, if I manage to get a video, you know, you know the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I decided to do a blog of it, you know, how I feel about it, and and all that, yeah. And today is three sixteen a.m. I just got done packing my stuff with you know my costume, batteries for you know my camera, my phone, my computer. Since I, again, I'm gonna be editing. On this video plus the convention video and of course I filmed enough videos so that way you know as I'm gone um, you know this video is gonna be posting today uh, there's one going up today the one that's going up today is the Guxilla video I think yes I think it is the the ultimate Guxilla the one I have right there if you kind of see it right there but yeah uh, that's the video that's going on today, so you know when I'm filming this, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very very fun actually. I've been looking very much forward to this since you know I haven't gone to a convention. Well, I've been to last year's convention, but pretty much I just go to C2 a lot. I haven't been to any other conventions. I know if you follow my friend Chris from Bad Productions, he went to G Fest. Um, I thought about going, but I honestly, I'm not a big fan of Godzilla. Wait, and you have Godzilla? I know, I know. I like, I like Godzilla, but I'm not crazy fanatic about it. And I don't know all the monsters like Chris does. He knows, you know, who, who's like King Ghidorah, like the origins of Space Godzilla, um, Freaking uh, Rodan, um, the origins of Mega Coxilla, the difference between the original model Kiryu. Um, uh, he knows a little. I mean, he does. He, he taught me a little bit of you know what Jet Jaguar is. He's not a Sentinel. I'm sorry. You know, eventually that video, well, that video would be released. He said I might piss off some fans. I do apologize again. I'm not aware. Of all the Godzilla creatures, I know some of them, but I'm not aware of all of them. To be honest, my first introduction to Godzilla was uh, Zilla, you know, the iguana version. So that's my, my introduction to him, so that's why I'm thinking he's an iguana, but, you know, uh, that's how I got into it. How do we get from talking to Khan, a blog, to Godzilla? I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be talking about weird stuff and how I feel about it. But yes, uh, regardless, uh, going back to the original topic I was saying, you know, I usually just do C2E2 because that's the con I always go to. Um, but lately I have thought about, you know, hopefully, you know, again, because I cannot just go to the con willy nilly, I need to, you know, purchase the tickets and all that. And, you know, they're expensive, <laughs> just like my toys, like, ugh, I gotta be smart on where I'm spending the money. But hopefully, hopefully, here's the thing for next year, hopefully. I I am planning to go to ASIN, which is Anime Con. Uh, my friends, you know, all, all all the time, like, come on, come in, come in. And I don't feel that comfortable going because you're another thing about me. I'm not a big uh, anime fan. I mean, I like anime. I love anime. I mean, well, I don't love it, but you know, I like it enough. I've seen a couple though. 
So I seen like, you know, Death Note, My Hero, some Naruto, One Piece. I have some movies I actually do like uh, in my shelf of movies. Those are my movies, by the way. I have, um, you know, Weathering With You, um, Your Name, um, uh, what's that, on My Neighbor Totoro. I, like I said, I've seen some of them. And I, again, I like anime to a certain extent, like when it gets, like Dragon Ball Z anime, like I cannot get into that one, like no, that, it looks too weird, or, again, my friend, he likes, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, I cannot get into that, like, I, something about, like, if it's drawn that way, or, you know, the ridiculous body type muscles, or, you know, that, you know, the classic, you know, skinny guy with a big sword, like. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. I mean, my hero is basically the X-Men, Death Note. Paranormal monster and a guy who thinks he could solve the world by killing people who are bad guys. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Your name? Oh, class. This is a wholesome story. Weather review? Again, I like wholesome stories like boy meets girl, they become friends, and they eventually fall in love. I love that stuff. I love that type of anime. But when it gets to a certain weirdness, okay, I'm out. And that's why I never felt comfortable going to Asen because. I don't know, but I might go, even though I don't know much about anime. Same thing with Guxa, I don't know much about it. You know, there's a lot of other conventions too, like uh, I think there's Transformers Con as well. Wizard World, but I think that the, the, the name changed already to something else. I mean, there's a lot of other cons uh, that goes in Chicago, so maybe again, next year, I'll try to go some more than just posting you know, C2E2, 2021, 2022, and all that stuff, so. Oh, this will be the 2022 C2E2. Um, yeah, sorry, I burped a little bit. But yeah. Again, this is day zero. This is pre-day, pre, pre -day. so, you know, I, I finished packing my stuff, and... Um, I'm just gonna go to sleep, and, you know, head over to Chris's house. Um, and you know, pick up my ticket and you know, my badge for the con since I'm going all three days. And you know, I'm gonna again, I'm gonna be blogging the the convention, but that will be a separate video. This one would just be you know, pre day, then after it's done, and second, second day, third day, fourth day, and then towards the end, I'll see how I felt about it. And uh, maybe we'll get Chris in the video, I don't know. I don't know, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll hear his opinions as well, how he feels, and stuff like that, so yeah. I'm weird. Again, it's 322 in the morning, so... Yeah. The only thing I don't like is losing my dog. Like, oh, I wish I could take you with you, but I can't. So he's gonna be with Grandma and Grandpa. Um... My toys, like good God. And of course I will be showing the items I purchased. I never actually done that to be honest. I never shown off what I purchased. And there's a lot, like all this has never been purchased at Con. I mo mostly buy artwork, honestly. Maybe a toy or two, but mostly artwork. But yeah, again, I'll show, I'll show uh, what I bought during the convention. Um, but yeah, hopefully this 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 year's convention will be awesome. Uh, just same as last year and the, the year before that. Have a good night, mobs. I'll see you in one second when the sun is shining, the birds are singing. I'm not farting as my chair. I need like a gamer chair or something. I got I just got a desk chair. Hey. It was cheap. I bought a lot of furniture, so when I moved down here, so yeah, I do like how it looks. How this expanded, though, to be honest. Like, man, I remember when I started filming here. Like, Where's a good shot? I can do the toy reviews and stuff. Like here, uh, here, uh, here, uh. Mmm. Took me a while to figure it out, but I figured it out. So yeah. Okay, have a good night. Um, I'll see you guys in the morning and
He's sleeping. I'll woke him up. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Say hi to your fans. <laughs> okay, I'll let him sleep. Hey, Mops. Uh, I just woke up. It's 1.20 in the afternoon. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. I woke up late, but I, I, I don't sleep at night, so this is my excuse why I wake up past noon. Um, but yeah, I got my stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm heading over to Chris, and yeah. Let's go. I have no idea why I did that. It's supposed to be my headphones. Whatever. I'll see you guys in a moment. I want a painted gray, though. Do I want a painted gray stripe? What? Uh, are you recording or no? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I just pushed the button right now. Oh, I didn't hear it. It's very quiet. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, Mops, I just uh, got into Chris's house. We were about to go pick up the tickets. And you just can't talk about his costume. He's drinking water. That will be a secret. And I don't know if they catch him, whatever. Anyways, we'll see you in a bit. So yeah, I guess you can saw I got my uh, badge, and Chris was playing one of my favorite games, uh, Web of Shadows. <laughs> well, I'm really far. <laughs> I'm really far. Today. But yeah, um, we're—he's still testing out his costume, and yeah, you'll see what he'll be wearing tomorrow for C2. I am very excited for that. Um, to see what's gonna be the vendors and hopefully hopefully uh you know see what I'm interested in buying and yeah so I'll see you guys tomorrow when uh, we wake up to C2 and to be honest I'm not feeling that um I, I hate waking up in the morning to be honest I really do I'm not not a morning person I'm a night owl so yeah Look here, buddy. I'm a cosplayer. I cosplay. You might be wondering, am I going to see 2E2 this weekend? Well, that fits the purviews of my philosophy. I build props and costumes, like this little old ratchet wrench built by me, designed by me, and best be pointed at you. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> That's the thing he's gonna be wearing, Mops. I have no idea how what he's looking at because they're much much better. <laughs> yeah. Give a little bit of southern hospitality coming to uh, McCormick Place this weekend, August 5th to 7th, 2022. Yeah, until he loses that accent and becomes this guy. Okay, that ODSC is pretty good though, not gonna lie. You know it's a good costume, but I might burn it now. So, that's kind of fun. It is. I gotta, I gotta really lose my, lose a Texan accent before it just like slips back in. Yeah, you go to Texas every time, so. Howdy, folks. Barbecue. Brisket. Are you naming barbecue? There's more to life in Texas, like ranches and flea markets, and going to Dallas or. Red Cafe. Cafe. <laughs> If you have no idea what we're talking about, Google Rainforest. What's the video? What's the head of the video? Every guy it goes to every Rainforest Cafe in America? Yeah, that's about it. Go look it up. It's really awesome. And I'm blurred. The one in Galveston, Texas is pretty good, so you might <laughs> you might want to go there. Jeez, I when I put this costume on, I really like it's Texan accent all of a sudden. It doesn't help that I went to was it I went to San Antonio like back in May. Or no no, back in March, so yeah, it's stuck with me ever since then. Yeah, well, I've never been there, so. Mm. You might like it, partner. Possibly. You might like it. I'm going for the fried chicken, though. 
<laughs> hey, I hear Southern have the best fried food, so. You may not be able to see under my like <laughs> goggles out here, but you see me rolling my eyes at you like right now. I love chicken. What can I say? Yo, what's up? <laughs> We're just having fun with our costumes at this point. And of course my scatter gun. Built by him. Designed by him. Oh dang, I don't hear my brains, but best pointed at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too much attention. Really loving my Godzilla post. Just ten more hours for C2. Alright, I just got this. Oh, look, there's a little bit of jazz. You got a picture on a team? Wouldn't this be a fine team without a picture? I don't know. Tell me the picture's name. Tomorrow. You don't want to tell me today? I'm telling you, man! Then go ahead. Tomorrow. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow you're going to tell me who's pitching? Now listen. Who is not pitching? Who is on? I'll break the all run, you say. Who's on first? I, come up here and ask. I want to know what's the pitcher's name. What's on second? I don't know. But I guess... I don't know. I'm having fun watching this video. Um, so, yeah, this is day one of Comic-Con now. And of course, it won't be on this video because that will be a separate video. That will be the actual convention experience. But yeah, as you can see, I'm getting my scout ready. I just uh, had uh, breakfast, uh, a bowl of Cheerios. Delicious, by the way. Honey nut Cheerios are always good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Chris is getting ready for his costume too. Whether he will be engineer today or he will be a. Uh, I don't know what to call some Halo soldiers. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not into Halo. I'm sorry. I can. I can never get into that. Sorry to, if I'm disappointing people. But yeah, um, I'm gonna film a little bit of Con, but that'll be again. That'll be for a separate video. We just want to just be behind the scenes uh, before and after the Con again. Uh, but yeah, should be interesting. Hopefully, you know, I, I'm excited uh, to meet the cosplayers and uh, the vendors. See what they're selling. And hopefully, hopefully, um, my goal of today is, uh, you know, to get out of the way uh, for the first day is uh, to meet Steve Bloom, if possible. Um, either get his autograph, hopefully, or if he does voice requests, if he, of course, as you guys know, may not know, he is the voice of the Wolverine. Uh, but personally, I love his uh, voice of uh, Green Goblin from the Spectacular Spider-Man. So I hope, <laughs> I really hope that um, since I brought the copies of uh, the Spectacular Spider-Man DVDs for him to sign, if he can do the intro for the video of uh, the C2E2 video, just like they with Justin uh, Brainer, Brainer, whatever his last name is, uh, for, for, for the voice actor for Deku. So yeah, hopefully he can do the same just with the... Green Goblin boys. I can't I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully hopefully he'll be able to do it. But we'll see, we'll see. Um if he's able to. I mean again, if I I can, that's fine. I'll I'll i am just gonna be happy either way with his autograph. So yeah. Um that's pretty much the only celebrity I care to meet. I mean Michael Rooker is going there and uh, the Inquisitor and the whatever sister from the Obi-Wan series and of course uh, the actress for young Princess Leia is coming I, I I don't care to meet him to be honest I mean I love the show but I don't care to meet him if Obi-Wan was there then maybe maybe I will consider meeting Obi-Wan but not that I'm going so yeah and of course as much as I like Michael for Yondu and uh and uh One, one movie I think about that like he like a like a war movie he was in I forget the title if you know which one it is I you, you guys remember it but yeah I don't I don't know but yeah I'm like nah I'm fine without meeting him not if Jeff Goldblum were there now nah, we're talking <laughs> but yeah hopefully you guys uh, are gonna be enjoying these vlogs again I don't know whether you guys will like it or not and I I don't even know what I'm doing to me I just thought of this so. So, uh, you, you, do you guys know who's on what? Wait, no. Who's on first, what's on second, and I don't know what's on third. Do you know that one? Because I don't know who's on first. 
I don't know what's on second. Apparently, what's on third. I don't care. Why? Because I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? Day one of con. Ready? Yeah. Let's begin the show. Yeah. Hey, Mops. So, we're just taking a break right now. We're... I mean, you can guess where we are now. Yeah, we're gonna eat. And yeah, so far the con's been awesome. It's been awesome. Um, I got a chance to meet Steve Bloom. He was really awesome to talk to. Really nice guy, actually. Really nice guy. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll buy some, some stuff. Of course, I'll be showing that when we get home. But I think, I think that, that'll be it for my bike. It's already, I, I'm trying to find these two items I bought. Um, and so again, I mean, surprisingly, I mean, the con, at least for today, seems nice. It's just slow, I guess, or just uh, not a, not a, the occasion. Oh. oh my, I'm so sorry. You ruined the shot. Oh hey, my hair doesn't look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Being on that helmet, yeah. I think it would mess with my hair. Oh well, maybe. Yeah, he's picking up our food, so I'm um, um, holding the table for him, for them for him. Yeah, he's picking up the food, but yeah. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, the con, yes. Uh, not a lot, there's a lot of people, but not too much, and it's a mix of cosplayers and non-cosplayers. Though, again, uh, I'm surprised that there's no Marmo booth. Um, I guess because of the one piece that took over? And there's no red carpet again. I'm like, oh, okay. Who's here? <laughs> I'm ruining your shots every yeah, time. Yeah, yes, you are. So you know, I guess we'll talk about it more later. So I, somebody's forcing me to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Nutrition yeah. is Dude, sorry. a hard day. Yeah, I have my stuff in his chair. So yeah, we'll talk later, Mops. Hey there, Mop. So we're back from C2 the first day. It's over. Good God, it was, it was fun, to be honest. Um, uh, we, me and Chris got to meet Steve Bloom. He, uh, of course, uh, I, I mean, I'll show you in a moment. He autographed some things for me. And, of course, he did a uh, he did the intro for the video, too. The C2E2 video I'm going to be posting first. And then this one. So, I mean, you got to see that. I mean, you, you'll see the first thing, but... I mean, you'll see the individual stuff, what we did, first day, second day, third day, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it was fun. Um, you know, saw Steve Blue, we met the Nastasha Critic. Um, and of course, uh, being a Team Fortress, uh, you know, scout, as myself and uh, Christian, my friend, uh, as a engineer, you know, we got recognized a lot, actually. And um, a lot of people asked us, you know, to uh, take a picture, and there were... There was a sniper at the very beginning of the con, like literally just walking there and we start hearing the tune from his saxophone. Chris spots him and we just, oh! <gasps> like, wow. You know, we saw that and we saw, I think, like two or three other scouts. And that was, that was it. I mean, a lot of people were coming to us, surprisingly, saying like, hey, thank, awesome that you're supporting this game, that you're cosplaying. I'm like, Dude, I'm like, hey, I love this game. I love the game. I love the character scout. That's why I dress up as him. Uh, but then, then technically, I, any character that's a scout person, I play. I love scouting anyways. But yeah, I mean, I love it. I love it. And it was fun, though. It was fun. Um, and of course, I did mess. I bought some stuff for myself, of course. And I uh, got some gift for a friend and uh, for Chris as well. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I enjoyed it though. I really did. I really did. Um, so a, a lot of nice people there, and um, yeah, I mean, nothing bad about it. I mean, the only thing I would say is that I don't know. It's because I've been there so many times at this point. It's like what my fourth time, fifth time, maybe hey, fourth time. I feel like a part of me, like the magic, starts to dwindle. Like, I don't know. I felt different. Maybe, again, and this year apparently, again, the red carpet is gone. Like, no, not the red carpet, but apparently that's what happened. Uh, reason why they're not bringing it back, apparently, to save the environment. I guess every year they throw it out or something. So I was like, okay, I guess that's the reason why they're not bringing it back. 
And surprisingly, there was a One Piece uh, boat there. I'm like, what the hell is One Piece doing here? Where's the Marvel booth thingy? Nope, just a One Piece boat. Okay. Interesting enough, though. But yeah, I mean, again, even though it was fun, I felt like there was a piece that was just missing. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Let's see if we can get Chris his thoughts on this, if we can. You're making too much noise. <laughs> hey, right. All right. So there's apparently the items I got. Uh, I got a Spider-Man poster of him fighting a bunch of villains. As you guys see, uh, Venom, Electro, Lizard, Vulture, Sandman, like Rhino. I mean, there's a bunch of cool villains. I'm like, I'm kind of glad I got this. Uh, then I got, of course. A big artwork, like God, this this one really caught my attention. All for one, Shigaraki, Stain, Davi, and Toga. Like very interesting design. How they all big, big. Apparently, it's made of it's acrylic. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. They were very, they were very selling the idea of they, this doesn't break. They were slamming the these, these artworks on the tables, showing that it got yeah, it's not gonna break. I'm like. Yeah, I wouldn't think it would, but okay. Thank you for telling me. And of course, my favorite version of oh shit, of Godzilla, Shin. Very awesome. I love this guy. This is my favorite version again. I love it. I love it. Of course, I have to get myself a T-shirt for the days I'm feeling blue. Not today. I don't want to feel today. And of course, I just had to because hey, might might as well. Uh, if I cannot open it. An Ocarina of Time. Replica, actually, apparently. So I'm like, ooh. I have no idea what this means. Maybe where it's from? Maybe? STL? Whatever. sound real hopefully anyways this is what we get second day probably nothing or third day probably nothing but yeah those these are the whole I got so far I'm kind of glad I did the purchases to be honest so what are your thoughts on C2 Chris of day one at least oh, you put me on the spot uh first off hi there viewers or mops as they call <laughs> my friend over there Weird name, but whatever. Members it, of Pool. It's his, it's his channel. Point being is that, as a con veteran that's been to at least nine conventions this year, uh, I don't know. Yeah, should I, what's the, should I be a little more honest? Should I be like, you know, have some positives and lows? Like, what, what do you want me to do with I mean, this? I, I said that there was something off about it. I know something about, maybe because we've been there too many times, at this point, like the magic Wendell's so, so there's something I, I was missing. listening while I was doing oh. the laundry I, I'm making sure that his scout cosplay is like sweat free body odor free it's hot tomorrow. today in Chicago so ugh. yeah so okay yeah I mean whatever your opinion is okay that's fine it. yeah I'll just be honest with you it felt a little underwhelming maybe it's because all the magic from my hype for C2E2 yeah I'm getting all squinty uh, went towards Godzilla Fest um, if you I hate to drop my channel there but you know uh, if you go to Bad Productions, you'll see a 19 minute video about me going to Godzilla Fest. You can tell I had a great time there and that uh, I may not be able to make a C2E2 video, but I'm just straight up for it. It's like, it's cool seeing everything again. It's cool that I get to go to the convention that got me more interested in going to entertainment expos forever, but there's not a lot that will keep me excited or looking forward to it. There, there are some positives. Uh, like, I'm sure, uh, should I tell them about me? Yeah, yeah, I did tell them we met okay, uh, scouts yeah, we met the, we, and other people that yeah. you know, were interested in our costume. Apparently some of us yeah. were told that, uh, hey, thank you for supporting the game and all yeah. that, which I was surprised. I'm like, really okay, cool that's an interesting, uh, uh, I guess, convention starter that like, you're talking about like I know I know the game is really old and apparently, mm -hmm. while well, I was telling Chris, apparently when I was uh, posting the video for C two, 
Mm. Uh, again, that the game is dying or something. Like there's taken over by the bot or some some things like that. So it's like, yeah, thank you for like you know you know still, you know the game is being still talked about. I was like, okay, that's that's interesting. I'm like, but yeah, I mean, I, again, I love the game. I love Scott. That's why I cosplay as, as him, and he likes engineer. Mm-hmm. You know, he, I keep telling him to be medic, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, that was really cool, I seen the fans, and even like uh, the special vendors, like uh, Ultra Savers asked us to pose for pictures, and some random guy towards the end, like he took like pictures of us, and he gave us like his uh, information, that way we can download the pictures, uh, hopefully we'll get them in time, uh, so that way I, when I post the video for C2, it'll be up and running, but yeah, I mean, that was, it was interesting though, it was very interesting about it. Uh, the, 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 but like you were saying, like the magic is going away for maybe it's just for us. I don't know. But I, regardless of it, I'm still excited for the second day, Bill. I don't. Are you looking uh, forward to that? Okay, so I'll be honest with you, viewers. This is the first time in my entire convention experience where I did not bring enough money. A lot of things have gotten a little expensive. I mean, it's conventions. You're gonna see a lot of vendors with different prices, and they're gonna like make or break your bank. But I wasn't expecting to pay like almost the amount that I brought with me initially and it was significantly lower than Godzilla Fest I'll be honest with you I'm not going to go into the specifics but uh sure I look forward to sorry I'm going back to your topic yeah, yeah I do look forward to see what Saturday has to bring uh, I'm a little iffy on being Team Fortress 2 to be honest because it's like I, I have a weird rule where it's like I don't wear a costume twice but then again I'm, I'm kind of a hypocrite where it's like I've done it before where I dress up as one character one day and then dress up as the same one again for like a couple of hours and go back to changing. Uh, point is, yeah, we'll see what happens if, if I'm able to go to the bank tomorrow and get at least like a decent amount of money. Not too much, maybe under a hundred, that would be great. Then I'll be like golden, I'll be solid. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see, it'll, mm-hmm. it'll be interesting. And of course, like I said, I'm not I'm not filming tomorrow because as of Saturday, a lot of people go there, and it's a bit harder to film for me because there's literally people everywhere. I had to be like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, like no, I no, so I'm not gonna get in the way over that. Sunday, that's where I actually start filming the the actual convention. I mean, I, I did a little bit of filming today, but mostly I filmed because you know, again, Steve was gonna, Steve Bloom was gonna be there, and you know, if I could get an intro of him, awesome, and of course I did so. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, again, I'm still excited for the second day regardless. Um, again, like I said, for us, maybe because of us, we've been to a lot of the C2E2 cons, the magic start dwindling for us, where it's like, cool, we're here. But of course, once the fans are, uh, like the fans of the cosplay, what's the word? Like, the admirers of the cosplay? You do fanatics. Fanatics are fine. Of the character? I would say that we're cosplaying this? Is that the, what's the word for that? I'm, I'm not sure. Whoa, 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 what are you trying to say? I mean, the pe- I mean, like I said, like for us, it was, eh, okay, but when people started asking for pictures of the characters that we were cosplaying as, cosplaying as? You could say fans. I, like, okay. fans of our cosplay. Like yeah. That's, you could say admirers if they're, like, really excited. Like, oh my god, it's Team Fortress 2. Yeah, yeah there were some people like that. And yeah, they were. I mean, that got us excited. Like, wow. And again, I, that, made, that made it kind of worth it. Like, okay. I'm kind of glad I'm here. Bob the Builder involved. But hey, <laughs> I, I guess I look like a... If you see video footage of me in there, I guess people will call me Felix, uh, Fix-It Felix or uh, Bob the Builder. Sure. It's all because I'm wearing blue. <laughs> And nobody say nothing to me because I'm guessing like, yeah, we don't know who this guy is, so let's not say nothing. That's not much of a victory for me. That's just, <laughs> that's just pure, bittersweet victory for me. That was still awesome, though. <laughs> yeah, that was fun to, for day one, though. And I get, we're really tired from walking all day, but... No, I'm, I, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, my feet are a little... Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you <laughs> use them! But I'm not sure if you want to say that to your viewers. Oh, they know I curse. I don't. They don't. I don't care. No, I'm not. The only bad thing it. is that. No, I'm not gonna say. I was originally gonna be like pointed here and just say it, but I'm not gonna say. It. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, no. the only bad thing is that sometimes my mother watches this. I'm like, ooh, sorry, mom. <laughs> but no, again, we still had a lot of fun regardless. Um. And again, I am actually still looking forward for the second day, even though most like once I get there, I'm like, cool. What 
to do? What to do now? Because again, I feel like I got everything I would like to get, to be honest. Um, maybe a, a little more art, like one or two more, and probably a, just one toy. Because again, like ugh. Bender's Upstep, their prices, unfortunately. Uh, this is why I prefer like mom and pop shops than. You know what? Uh, okay, I, sorry. I'm breaking into your yeah. Go ahead. Your go host's ahead. video and rant, but you know what? I've seen Black Series figures for Star Wars be for reasonable prices. I'm very surprised, considering. I mean, yeah, you go look around, you'll find good deals on other stuff, but like, you really gotta look around. Yeah, because they they had the GameStop exclusive boss from uh, Republic Command for twenty two bucks. That's like. That's like nine, seven, ten dollars less than if you went to GameStop itself or went to other vendors. Like that's yeah, and that's I, I found like uh, I might I might get it. Uh, the Joker for Persona Five for fifty bucks. I was like, that's not bad compared to the prices I see. Like even like in like the big big bad toy store or or like any other mom and pop shop. Well, not I'm sorry, not mom and pop shop. Like actual toy companies and even vendors like i was i found some other people selling that toy fucking 125 dollars i'm like fuck that shit man i mean yeah joker's a bit hard to find the nendoroid one but i'm not paying 125 for that fuck that no 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 but you know i might get it i might get it though, but we'll see we'll see or even like the old my funko pop uh limited edition for 2021 40 bucks for them like not bad. Not bad. And of course, that would be the only toy I actually would break my rule of not opening. Because I open my toys. I don't care for it. But this one, like, okay, I might keep it in the box. But yeah. But no, again, and like Chris said, uh, the conventions do get expensive, unfortunately. I mean, I, I mean, you saw, again, you sh I, show, I showed, well, I didn't, did I show you? I don't know what order I'm going to put this video on. But if I showed the, the stuff I bought, I mean, yeah, I spent a good penny on it. I mean, then again, I spend a good penny when I to do the toy reviews. But, I mean, hey, I work my ass off working. So I spoil myself sometimes. Even though I, just, I should stop doing that because I'm like, okay, I'm going poor now. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, again, if it's like a mom and pop thing, I, do, I always support them regardless. And a lot of these are like mom and pop shops that uh, they just go there, you know, they you give less they uh not give less like they it costs less than the actual real thing i guess you want to say or even like artists like when you go to artist alley stuff like that you know it's the it's the actual person themselves who drew that it's not like a company that makes them do this or stuff like that so i'm like okay but yeah oh, yeah i did forget to say when i got the stitch apparently she threw in the free pen Cool. <laughs> what? I, was, I literally hit recording. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> so <guys. laughs> you know, So I forgot to tell you. So again, when I met Steve Bloom, he signed my spectacular Spider-Man. If you did not know, he voices Green Goblin, of course. Gobby was here, and of course, you know, Ultimate Alliance. He voices Wolverine. But. I'm really glad he signed these two. Hey Mops. Uh, so yeah, second day of C2. Just getting my costume ready. You know, my dog tags are right here. And my band-aids for my hands. Sorry, I'm still very sleepy from last night. Ugh, I'm not. I hate getting up at this time. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If we can focus, that's what. That's the time. It's too early for me. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> this should be fun. Is it time to go to bed? Hey, mops. Uh, I just made it home right now from the con. I just literally got in. Oh God, is the heat is intense. Um, why is it so quiet? You wonder. Chris is not here. That's why. Why? 
uh, he had to go to a family uh, event, that's why. So he had to leave the con actually earlier. Um, so I'm not going to be asking him, him about his, his, the opinion of, of today because since he didn't really spend the full day, I don't think it will be accurate information, I guess. So you guys, I guess you have to rely on me. So, ooh. Um, again, like like I said, I don't know if I, if I, again, I don't remember what I say anymore. But uh, Saturday, it's always full of people in Jesus. It was full. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of people were were you know in the vents uh in the vents yeah uh, you know in the alleyways or oh, alleyways you know what i'm talking about the hallways of the con you know uh on the corners buying stuff and you know literally circling around the the, the vendors and so you know it's a bit harder to see what they're selling and stuff like that but you know that's a lot of people regardless uh, so th again, this is the reason why I don't film on Saturdays because there's too many people, and you know some of them do bump into you. And of course, uh, fortunately, some some say uh, sorry, which is good, but some just don't and just keep on moving. I had like two or three people they just bump into me and they just continue on. I'm like mm, rude, okay, but yeah, um, but yeah, I mean it was fun. I mean, of course, I bought some stuff. Of course, I'll, I'll, I'll show show you what I got, and of course, it's something special too to Mark's review. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you'll see, you'll see in a moment. Um, but yeah, and of course, I, as you can tell, restaurant my uh, dog tags. Uh, I will scout again, and Chris was uh, again. Uh, uh, engineer and uh, surprisingly enough again uh, we did see some more uh, C2E C2E2 sorry uh, TF2 uh, Team Fortress 2 cosplayers uh, mostly scouts uh, apparently there was another engineer but I didn't see that them um, him or her or, I don't know who who was cosplay but I didn't see them um, and uh, one medic one medic uh, she was cool she was cool uh, you know every every Team Fortress 2 player and some uh Cosplayers, either you know, people that were just showing up or just you know, actually cosplaying, you know, again came to me and Chris and uh, said that hey, thank you for supporting the game. That apparently, they're excited to see these characters still being still living on. And um, you know, I'm like, I, again, I'm like, is the game dying or something? Again, like, ever since I saw that save uh, TF2 post or whatever, I'm like. Again, I haven't played the game in a long, long time, so I really don't know. But still, I don't know, why am I going sideways? Again, uh, I don't know. And again, I know it's an old game, but still, like, I mean, people dress as old characters all the time. I'm like, huh? I mean, I've seen people dress as He Man and Skeletor and B uh, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee from G1. I seen people dress as Aku, and that was be way before season five uh, came out. I'm like, huh? I don't know. I don't know. But still, I mean, I'm, I'm again. I'm, I was, I'm glad that um, that I was, uh, I was cosplaying as a scout again. A lot of people recognized me and Chris. Uh, it was fun, and it was what was more interesting too about it is that uh, we met a uh, random. Uh, cosplayer who was cosplaying a scout and they tagged along with us and you know we made a new friend apparently uh so that's, that was really cool too that was really cool i don't know if they're watching this so if you are hey what's up <laughs> uh but yeah that was um very interesting very interesting again uh the power cosplay united and you know us as as uh guests of this uh show panel you know admiring every taste they have a ooh a little candy ooh a little plushy doll ooh art, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and it was cool. I mean, again, uh, you know, typical stuff. You know, we I went to a lot of artist alleys, and um, you know, they the vendors they were telling me about their artwork. Same thing with like uh, vendors themselves, like you know, talking about their toys or their products and what they're selling. Um, like, hey, this toy is from 1999. Uh, the reason why it's this price is la la la. You know, this is a rare variety. And like, hey, if you buy one, if you buy two, you get one free. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. And some of them were really cool to talk to. Some of them was like, okay. But, but that's typical vendor stuff. That's I'm not gonna. I'm not, that's nothing to complain about, really. That's you will find anywhere. I'm in a flea market, I guess. Um, but no. Um, 
now I feel more lively, to be honest. I, I actually enjoy myself a little, a little, a little bit more than yesterday. Maybe because not a lot of people were cosplaying yesterday. Yeah, even today, again, not even a lot. Mostly non-cosplayers, but there were some cosplaying, and of course, uh, I managed to take some photos here and there, but, you know, I'll use them mostly for the thumbnails. Um, but then, when I, and then again, if I do record them, if, of course, with the permission of you know, them as a character, you know, you'll, you'll see them, but yeah. Um, still, it was still fun, though. I felt more alive this time around, more energized uh and again and even though i'm not a uh, morning person i was still like to see to eat too i still was very excited to walk around and you know see i mean i we i again see to eat is a very small con so you can basically see the entire thing in just one day but still now that i saw the whole thing mm, let me reappreciate re something let me Mm, this artwork. Mm, tell me more about it. Mm, this toy. It's overpriced, but okay. <laughs> uh, but no, 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 no. It was it was more exciting, at least for me. More, more, uh, more thrills, I guess. Like I was actually having fun. Maybe because it's a dread that tomorrow will be the last day, and you know, have to wait a whole year for another one. Um. But no, no. I, again, I, today was really fun. Maybe because I met, we met, uh, me and Chris made a new friend. Or again, a lot of people were really excited for our costumes. They, you know, again, they asked us a lot to to uh, stop and take photos. Ask us about you know, you know uh, why you again why why am I scout? Well, one, he's my favorite character too. Come on, Al. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, again, it was fun. It was fun, and of course, you know, talking to other cosplayers and. Uh, also, I thought I saw Chris like, Chris, you're here already? No, that was just a car, a car passing. Uh, but yeah, sorry, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Again, coming from the sun. Whew. But yeah. Um, no, it, it, again, it was just fun, fun really. And I really had a good time today. I really did. Uh, just tired from walking, really. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm... I can really say I really am excited for the last day. Um, mostly because like, now my instincts of filming are really kicking in. To like, okay, now I'm going to film here, here. I want, I definitely want to film this. I definitely want to film that. I want to take this. And, ooh, hopefully this person comes here again. Because uh, apparently, uh, I don't know. Did, did I? I think I did film... A person in the last video, if he is in the C2E2 video, yeah, he dressed as a Terminator. You know, we talked and he said he was gonna dress as a Joker uh, for the second day. And he recognized me, he's like, Hey, what's up? And I'm like, Look at him for just literally one second, like, Oh, hey, man, what's up? And you know, again, we had another conversation and he's like, Yeah, hey, I told you I would be Joker and yeah, you promised you would be Scout. So, man, yeah. it was really cool. Again, again, that's. The reason why I actually like going to concerts to have that connection with uh, fans of the character, or you know, why the reason why we're here to support these people and I think mean, just to have fun. Um, but yeah, again, I really have fun. I can't. I know I've been saying the same thing, but it's really fun. It's really cool. But I guess you just had to be there to see to feel it. I guess you know. But again, um, I am excited for the last day, and yeah, I mean, what can I say? You're ready for third day and last day, then uh, going back to normality and working and breaking my back uh, for a buck. Uh, I really hate. I really hate going back. I really don't want to. Can I just stay here, rent free, eating Chinese food, <laughs> not having responsibility? Oh, okay, fine. I guess I gotta go back to the real, the real world one Monday. But hey, I mean the things. I, like I said, I, like I said, one of the products will be a Mark Mark's. Or did I? I don't know. I got, I forget what I said. I I will show you what I bought, and one of the items is gonna be a Mark's review. So stay, stay tuned for that. 
And today's the Let me show you what I got. All right, Moss, before I show you the first item, I want to show you this, uh, his business cards, if you guys want to follow him. Uh, this guy, again, if you remember him from last year, he drew like these uh, Stitch characters, uh, these Stitch uh, as other characters. And, you know, I, I, again, Stitch is my personal favorite uh, Disney character. Plus he's an alien, plus he's fluffy. And, uh, you know, I was excited to see him again and support him. So, hey, if you want something from him, why not? And, of course, it was more awesome knowing that he actually worked on Lilo and Stitch. So, it was awesome, awesome. Again, that's the information from what I showed you. Now, let me show you what I got from him. So, of course, the first one is Stitch as Beetlejuice. So, Stitch, Stitch, Stitch. It's so tired. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting, and uh, you know, Back to the Future, Stitch, or Mark Stitch McFly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And of course, uh, Loki, Stitch, uh, Stitch Key, Stitch Key. I guess. There's, I like. I like it. I like it. I like it. How this looks. So, oh, well, Loki, Stitch Loki President, Stitch Key President. I guess. And of course, the last one. I just had to because he's my favorite character, Mr. Aizawa. So, Mr. Stitch Sawa? No. Yeah, I don't know. Um, his first name is Shoto. Yeah, Shoto Stitch. Stitch Shoto. I Stitch it, Miss. Mr. Sh Mr. Shoto Stitch? Miss. No. Mr. Stitch Aizawa, there we go, Mr. Stitch Aizawa, I can't, I, whatever, whatever, <laughs> Eraser Head. <laughs> Again, it was really cool getting all these uh, from him. And I, in the future, I might, again, I might purchase some more because I really love these characters, says Stitch. You know, his take on him. And so yeah, again, I love him, I love him, I love him. And then I got, this I didn't technically buy, it was a raffle. I could win. It's a towel, basically. I could face towel, I believe. I could win. Oh, sorry. From that's not Magellan, is it? Oh no, it's got it's Gundam. Basically, this is from Gundam. Uh, I, I, again, it was a raffle. Um, basically, you know, just draw, you know, whatever price you win, either a towel, some uh, uh, binders, or the actual prize, the big prizes are statues. So I'm like, okay, cool. Of course, I didn't win one. So I'm like, yeah, I'm again, I'm not disappointed. I'm not a big fan of, I mean, I like Gundam. I I built some here and there, but of course I've never seen the anime. Do I care to watch it? Not really. Why do I buy Gundam? I like building toys, to be honest. So so I'm not disappointed. I'm actually, man, yeah, cool. I could use this. Um, I don't know, or my dog can use it when he showers. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I got, I don't know if this is acrylic, I think it is. It's like a little kit you build with Kirby. This is really cool. I saw it, I'm like, okay, cool. Huh? I, I gotta build it, but this will be cool. Of course, this will not be a review at all. This would just be for my fun to do. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. I like Kirby, why not? And the, the most, the thing, I really got that was cool, but no, give me a second, let me take the tag off. I don't want you guys to see how much I pay for this, which, no, I would not disclose the payment of all these things. You gotta figure out how much I pay for now. Um, yeah. Persona 5 Joker. You never see me coming. <laughs> This is amazing and extremely hard to find, to be honest. I mean, these things sell like hotcakes, to be honest. Uh, I remember when I was trying to buy one originally, and they were sold out. So, I really don't know, to be honest, if these are reissues, or are these like the original toy? I don't know. I really don't know, because the last time I was trying to buy... It said they were sold out. I don't know if those up pre-order. And now that they're out, hey, these are the, the ones that then sell out. Again, I don't know. I for, I forget. I forget, to be honest. But, like, hey, and getting this... Actually, this was a bit cheaper than the actual 
uh, price they sell online. So again, these hell, I remember one of the guys were asking this for a hundred and twenty five dollars. I'm like, sir, fuck no. And again, it, I got this for a, a extremely good price. What price? Well, I'm not disclosing that, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm like. You know what? Yeah, I want. I actually want to stitch, but Joker. Why not? He's popular. I, I like the character, and I, he's not my favorite. Um, we still haven't. I still haven't finished the game. I still haven't shown you my actually favorite character. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, again, I'm happy to get the, to have this on my collection, and of course, this will be a Mark's review in the future. When will I film that? I don't know, maybe next next week I will film it after I edit this video and um, other videos. But again, by the time you see this, it's not gonna be up the next day because again, I gotta film the entire month's worth of videos just like I'm doing right now. Already all the month's worth of videos I'm done, they're being posted. I'm on vacation, basically. Um, but yeah, again, You'll, this will be a March review in the future. When will this be officially out? I'm not sure. I will probably film it in two weeks from now from when I am. Uh, August. What is it? The 6th. Yeah, August the 6th today. And I'll film in two weeks. Which will probably be, I don't know, maybe August 20th, I would say. August. No, not 20th. Uh, 17th? 17th? 15th? I, I don't know. One of those, uh, you know. 11 to 15 days, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, I'll be filming it and, you know, give you my opinion on the Joker. And of course, I'll try, I'll link uh, the description below where you can get this. Not from, you know, the vendor because I don't have their information. Um, I'll see, I can try to get it tomorrow. But if I can't, if I remember where it was, because again, you can kind of get lost on the items. Excuse me, I was lying, apparently. I was bullshitting you. Um, but yeah, if I can't, you know, I'm sure the Big Bag Toy Store or some other company have it for you guys. So, of course, I'll try to find it for, for, find it for you for the cheaper price, if anything. Um, but yeah, um, but uh, keep in mind, you know, the, the price on the stores. I checked, too, how much this is really worth on, like, retail market. Compared to the what the vendors are asking for, again, lower the retail market, and you know that's the reason I got it. But yeah, so I'm satisfied with these purchases. I thought to be honest, I was gonna be done, but no. Then I'm like, why not? Tomorrow, who knows? Maybe I might purchase the last last items. I might not though, but who knows? If something catches my eye and it's worth the price, I'll. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll probably buy it. <laughs> uh, but no, um, again, today was a really fun day. It was really fun. I, I really liked it, uh, being out there today. You know, at first I was driving, but I mean, then again, I was just waking up. So, but yeah, um, again, I can't specify how much I uh, have fun today. Me and Chris, though, he had to leave early. So I was by myself wandering around the forest. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it was really fun though. It was really fun. I, uh, so I'll see you guys on the third day. Bye bye. I'll see you later. Yes, not bye bye. Hey, mom. So third day, finally here. Yeah, I don't have energy at all. I am very tired. I don't like waking up in the morning at all. So yeah. Let's get this over with. Wine, 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 complain, complain, complain. Morning person. How can he function in the morning? Nice little tidbit. He's Ted. I am Eddie. Yeah, you are Eddie and I'm Ted from the Rainforest Cafe. So happy. So happy for this. Again, if you've ever seen, uh, I go to every Rainforest Cafe in the country. Look it up and you'll see who's who's who. I'll even put the video somewhere here. Why not?
If I can, if I can't, fuck it, I don't care. I'm sleeping right now. Uh, oh, I just want to go to bed. For not up two hours. Hello, mops. We just came back from the last day of con. Actually, one hour early we came back because we felt like we had enough. I mean, we experienced it for three days on, uh, on the con. So, you know, we kind of knew everything. And, you know, we like, okay, we're going to buy this, we're going to buy that. Last deals and all that. And, I mean, again, for, even for me, like I said, like, by the time I got my last item of, of my list or what I was interested in buying, I was like, I'm satisfied. I think I, I'm doing good. And so, yeah, um, it was fun though. It was fun. But again, like, maybe the third day because maybe my mind was in shop mode, not really much in convention mode, I guess. But again, I did have fun. I did have fun. Though, once again, that feeling, like I said, the first day return of Something's missing, a joy, a spark in there. Like, even though I had fun and I had a great time in, you know, making people's day, recognizing their cosplay and um, uh, making friends and, uh, you know, hearing the stories of how they created the costumes or even uh, the vendors, how they created their artwork slash whatever they're selling. Um, there was something missing to me. Like, I don't know. Again, could it be this finally getting to me the fatigue of C2 because again I've been going there for a long time but is it, finally, is it finally setting in that maybe C2 won't happen next year or maybe just one day instead of a three and again maybe I should start exploring more cons than anything who knows who knows but that's my opinion I will see what Chris thinks about it later but yeah um, of course I bought a lot, a lot of stuff today actually like good god I didn't expect to buy this much but I did surprisingly which might not show up. So of course one of the first items uh, uh, we I got Chris got me actually because we do like again gifts and stuff like that he got me a Soundwave uh, G1 poster which is really cool like so amazingly detailed like god very vintage and all that which is amazing amazing i, I really love it really love it um and then i got myself a few posters here uh i got myself like a cartoonish type got artwork of you know my neighbor toro amazing amazing uh oh shit it has a, it has i put something in here i'll show it to you in a moment if i can get it out of here there we go. We got a little again. I am a huge fan of Stitch and seeing these three together, you know, Experiment Six Two Six, Rocket and Groot. Lethal weapons. We're getting too cute for this ish. <laughs> like I wonder what's the ish part. I wonder. But I love it. I love it. Uh, and then uh, this just caught my eye because I just, I just had it. It was amazing. Uh, freaking. Uh, all the amazing people who are, you know, unfortunately no longer with us, but you know, uh, Mr. Rogers, Kindness, Stanley, Imaginary, Imagine, Imagination, sorry, uh, Bob Ross, Joy, and uh, Steve Irwin, I believe, yeah, Steve Irwin. If that, I'm, again, a Crocodile Hunter. I'm always forgetting his real name, to be honest, but you got the Crocodile Hunter. Uh, Curiosity, like, this is, I love it, and I just noticed Sesame Street. <laughs> This is, I love it, I love it. That's a cute uh, thing to have. Yeah, of course, you know, I grew up with Mr. Rogers. I respect Mr. Rogers and Stanley, of course, Marvel. Uh, the Crocodile Hunter, because I actually love animals and, you know, the joy of painting, you know, that, that smoothing voice. And, of course, I got a uh, little sticker, a little Kirby. I love, I love Kirby. And I usually don't collect stickers, but I was tempted, I was tempted. Uh... The other thing I got was like I don't know what this is. These, these are called like Japanese artwork, you know, with just black ink. You know, all my skinny might and then, uh, the powerful version of his prime. Like this is really cool. And then, oops, spoilers, spoilers by the way for my hero academia. To be honest, Warner, Warner, if not, skip a little bit, like ten seconds. 
Black Deku or Rogue Deku, as some people might call him, uh, is amazing. I am ahead of the manga, so I know what's going on. I just read the latest spoiler of what's going on. I'm not saying anything more, but like, mm. but that's kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, and of course, I got Fat Gum. Uh, a good price to be honest too. Like really good. I'm like hey, twenty one summer limited edition. Like I like it. Yes, this will be out of the box. I don't care. It's a limited edition. I'll take it out of the box. Uh, I got myself a couple shirts too. Uh, I got Silla shirt, which is awesome. And of course, uh, I I just had to because I never had one, but I want one. A Kirby shirt. It's really cool. Really cool, and then the big the big boys comes now. So one of the big boys is Charmander. This is amazing. Originally, I wanted a major a major smash slash skull kit, but they sold out. And then I asked, "Do you have Bulbasaur?" Right, just they sold out. So I'm like, "Fuck it, Charmander." Char I like it. And then I saw, so I said, "Fuck it, I might as well get this one too." Uh, Totoro from my neighbor Totoro, which is. I love it how this looks like God. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Yeah, these are the last two items I got at the con. And like I said, like, <laughs> I spent a good amount of money, unfortunately. But was it worth it? Yeah, I would say so. Again, even though I had fun with it, there was something missing, some type of joy in there, or some spark that somehow got reignited on the second day, but lost again on the third day and first day, of course. I don't know. I don't know. Again, yeah, maybe it could be con fatigue for that specific con for me, or there is something missing that, that I cannot pinpoint what it is. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, who knows? Who knows how that goes? Uh, who knows how that goes? All right, Chris, so what was your opinion on the last day? Uh, so, day three, C2E2. Uh... It was all right. It's it's like any other Sunday. You go find your deals. You walk around, see all of the vendors that you like potentially missed out. Uh, I didn't know that there was a dinosaur themed uh, booth that had like dinosaur graphic novels and pins. I thought it was pretty rad. Well, we saw it, but we saw the back of it. <laughs> yeah, we saw the back of it, but I I didn't know like yeah. what was there. Again, it was really crowded on Saturday, so seeing less crowds on Sunday made it a little manageable to look through and see almost everything. Uh, again, I spent a lot more money on posters than collectibles, which is I usually do for uh, conventions, but overall it was really nice. We got some nice deals wherever we could, met some nice people, got some pictures of cosplayers and the uh, uh, vendors hall itself. Uh, Again, it's it was all right. I I'm not like disappointed. And I'm not over enthusiastic. Yeah, like um, I don't know if you heard me while I was saying. Uh, again, it felt like the magic once once again disappeared. I don't know. Did it feel like that for you or not really? Mm. Oh yeah, some some. It's I know you talked about con fatigue and. Uh, uh, for all the for all of you that used to know uh, Bad Productions history, uh, Mark Pool, me, and another guy. Uh, his name's Brandon. He uh, we used to go to C two E two a lot, and then he was telling me Brandon was telling me that he felt like so like indifferent to conventions. He was like tired that he, he just thought that it wasn't worth going to those conventions anymore, but uh, your lord and savior Mark Poole and I have been like going ever since, every year, so. Yeah. And there, it, oh, get yeah, you first, go. Yeah, go. and like I said, like, I don't know if it finally hit me that finally, this is what it actually feels for con fatigue. Mm -hmm. But then again, this is the only con I've ever been to, so that's why I'm like, maybe next year I'll be more open to more because you go to a lot of them yeah um okay so throughout 2022 i've been to at least eight or nine conventions i'm not sure if one day shows count but did they do okay well that's uh, be over so. 10 at this point uh because you know 
Uh, sorry, I'm going to bore you viewers, but I'm going to tell you anyway. This is uh, a blog, so this is behind the scenes of what we do. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Uh, I went to, well, obviously I went to C2E2 back in, no, 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 I'm not going to say back in December 2020. No, 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 no. Recently, 2022, Anime Central, Godzilla Fest, at least two Toy Cons, uh, Star Wars Celebration, and... I already said Godzilla Fest, right? Mm, I don't think so. Well, Godzilla Fest, and then now C2E2. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... All of them have their perks, their pros and cons. Uh, C2E2 kind of feels like meshed within the other years where it's like, okay, it's cool to be here, awesome, neat. But at the same time, it's it, there's not a lot for us to do. And we don't go to panels. No. We that's... never bothered with costume contests. Uh, we didn't bother going to see other, like, you know, celebrities besides the ones that we wanted to see, which was like Steve Bloom. That was our main objective. Yeah. Here. I mean, there were, I mean, I mean, there was others that I wouldn't mind seeing, but I don't care. To, I don't want to pay, like, the price to see them. Or to me, it's like, eh, I could wait a little longer. For we we to don't want to be inconsiderate to the uh, to the voice actors and the guests that of honor because like we just wait in line just to tell the uh, handler, oh, and we just want to talk to him. Like I feel like that's a little rude because they're expecting you to like pay for the packages over a picture yeah. or an autograph. But uh, I I'm sure a majority of attendees don't have a lot of money to spare. Yeah. Um, and even if they do, like. More power to you. That's that's great, uh, but other than that, uh, there, again, there's not a lot to do when it comes to going to uh, this year's C2E2. Mm -hmm. There were some cool like booths and vendors that had all these like posters and like figures, and sometimes a little game or two. But it doesn't really want to like keep you there forever. You could basically just take um, at least two three hours walk around and then you're done yeah, even though yeah, this yeah. convention goes from what 10 to 7 and then 10 to 5 the last day uh -huh. and of course i was telling them yeah you can literally just explore the whole kong in one day if, if anything in a couple hours yeah because um did you tell them what time we left today or no we left early we left an hour early yeah we left an, we we left almost an hour early yeah because yeah, i told them like we i mean we Got we've done our shopping. We've been there for three days. We know mm -hmm. the ins and outs of it. So it's like, yeah, we just went there as shopping mode than anything. But yeah, regard even regarding the past for us, um, in the past for us, whenever we went to cons like this, we still were excited for the last day and saddened when it ended. But this is like, I'm done. I kind of want to go home. Yeah, because there's nothing new that it offers for us because. I hate to be like pushing C2E2 out and putting my Godzilla Fest experiences. Yeah, clearly but, with that shirt. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, I wore this to Godzilla Fest. It was great. Uh, point being is that at Godzilla Fest, the vendors do this thing where because two years have passed since the last Godzilla Fest, all of these like stores and businesses got a big like a huge stock a huge stock of Godzilla toys and kaiju figures that every day of that weekend they bring out new stock and that's what got people's attention because what you might see one day can be replaced with something else entirely the next day and the next day C2E2, uh, unfortunately, most of the vendors mostly had their stock. Rarely they run out of artwork, but that's always going to be on Sunday. That's always going to be Sunday. Yeah, I was telling them that some of the things I wanted were sold out. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, uh, I overheard. I overheard. There were a lot of things that were sold out at the time. Mm -hmm. and, Which, good for them. Good for yeah. them, really. Oh, no, definitely. It, it works well for business if they don't have to take a lot of stuff with them back to wherever they, like, you know... Uh, traveled from mm -hmm. yeah uh, but hmm I, I find it funny your little host calls it like this spark uh, it's like <laughs> not falling in love with it you're not sleeping with C2E2 are you Ray uh, no uh, I don't know I, I like to call it con fatigue maybe it is maybe it isn't I, I think it's more of a we're so used to what happens at C2E2 that the only thing we could do that's different 
is what we cosplay as and how we interact with the other people. Yeah, I would say that too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But overall, how would you rate this? Like, was this a good con or just like, eh? If I were to give it like X number out of 10, I like to give it at least like, hmm. And I'll be a little generous. Six point five to seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm about the same seven. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 like a little above average, but it's not like the party of the century. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like I know I see advertisements on Instagram saying it's like, oh yeah, don't forget to sign up for C2E2, prepare yeah. for C2E2. And of course, you know, let the parties they do this after party or stuff like that, but we don't care for that to be honest. I mean it would be cool, but at this point our like I, I hate to agree with your host here, but even though he's tired and sleepy and always groggy and not a morning person, our feet are like gone, our legs are aching, our bodies are now like ready to shut down because we either didn't eat a lot of food today, we did too much walking around back and forth, and we never did anything like new that got us like high energy at all. Yeah. So again, point being is it's an average nice con. Uh, what I recommended for people that are going to conventions for the first time, for a day, sure. Um, for a day, sure. Like, definitely. Always go on a Saturday. Yes, it's busy. That's understandable. It could be a little expensive for a day pass, but it's more worth it because you get to see more cosplayers, meet more people, and enjoy what the con scenery mm. is about. Interesting. Cause I, would, I would be just the same. So I would say, yeah, go for the three days. I mean, for again... I liked it a lot, regardless. Mm -hmm. Even though that was some things that I was like, yeah, it's, I still like being there all three days, to be honest. So, uh, I mean, for con veterans, yeah, three days. Oh, maybe yeah. for con veterans, con yeah. Veterans. But for a new person, yeah, maybe, yeah, you're right. Maybe you're right, yeah. Uh, maybe, unless it's Maybe like, two, at least. Yeah, two. two days, because at least you're going to be given a chance to be like, oh, if you liked it the first time, you could come back and, like, give them money for a second one. Yeah, yeah. Because all in all, it's still, uh, <laughs> it's still going to be, like, a hundred something dollars, Either way, if you get two days or the three days, so yeah. uh, I guess for more bang with your buck, go take the three day weekend rather than the two just two regular days, yeah. and you know just have fun, have fun, I guess. And the last one I want to say because I, I think I'll talk about it a little bit more uh, my opinion when I get home about because I gave a brief. I think I was talking briefly like whether I'll come back next year, maybe or just do maybe one day. I don't know. Hmm. What about you? Would you? They'll go for next year or maybe just one day or not at all for next year? It depends on the dates because um, fortunately, you know, I'm financially like stable to like get another three day pass like last like this time. But the only issue is since there were three conventions, uh, you know, the Horicon, Anime Magic, and C2E2. Yeah, I didn't talk the about that. Uh, they, don't know, uh, they don't know about that. Actually. Oh, well, spoiler, sorry. I, I went, I, this is future, this is future me talking to future him. No, go ahead, talk, explain, because oh, they oh, don't I know. Thought, I thought you were, like, re-recording, never mind. No, 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 no not re-recording, no, being is they don't that know about that. The placement of this year's C2E2 was kind of bad. Because I had a couple of friends that are working at this other convention called Anime Magic. And I'm sure your host will tell you more about it later. About why it was a bit of an issue this weekend. But... Hey Mops, it's Future Mark Poo here. I'm sorry, I forgot to talk about this in the video. Um, and my camera's dead, so you just hear my voice right now. But what he's talking about, or what I forgot to mention earlier... Is that during the C2E2 uh, days, uh, two other cons were happening. Um, an anime one and a horror one, if I am correct. If not, oops, sorry. But basically just two other cons were happening at the exact same time. So that is unfortunate, really. Because if you were to go to C2E2, but then like, oh, an anime con's happening at the same time. I... Oh. Fine, one day C2E2, one day this, and then, oh, another one, but, ah, uh, fine, another one day, like, basically, you don't get to enjoy each con as it is. I, I really do don't like that, to be honest. I don't like when cons collide, because 
you you basically are forced to choose which one do you battle your time more with this or that so that maybe could affect the the buy because again as from what i heard from people you know they were con skipping i guess again uh one couple people were at c2 and then uh, the next day they didn't show up because they went to the other con and then they came back at c2 so or you know went to the other convention whatever so yeah you know and some of our mutual friends that did the same thing uh one day here one day the other cons and one day the other other con or just skip the c2 because they prefer to go to this new con or whatever you know so that's that's what uh we were we forgot to talk about or i should say i forgot to talk about in the video so yeah let's go let's go back to uh, what, what chris was saying it, it c2e2 has got to happen back in springtime it's got to because one i'm sure your host and i d agree that it w did not feel good walking back and forth in 80 in heat, 90 yeah. 70 degree weather no, no, no it was no, not no. fun especially even though even though our cousins are light it's still we still don't want one like yeah. to be like sweating or anything like that no no not at all we don't want to perspire we don't want to feel overheated uh and it's it was much better when it was in springtime yeah winter was the only exception because you know with the pandemic it pushed back c2e2 to uh, postpone itself which is fine and yeah. dandy but they could have just you know they could just switch it back to the next unless if like you know they couldn't like change things in time but oh well uh, point being is, if it's on, if it's back in springtime, I'll go all three days. If it's in like, if it's going back in August, I'll just do, I'll just do Saturday. And if I really, really wanted to, I'll go Sunday. Like again, if I have to, but it's I'm willing to go one day because it it won't, it won't break me. If I oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Mm -hmm. And say goodbye to him. This is the last time you will see him, at least for now. Yeah, for now, you'll. It's I randomly show up on my own channel now and then, yeah, once in a blue yeah, moon. Come back, come back. No, mops tell him to come back. No. <laughs> All right, see you then, Chris. See ya. Hey, mops. So as you can tell, I'm home. <laughs> uh, I am very tired, to be honest, and yeah. Uh, right now, I'm uploading the C2E2 video and I will edit the thumbnail real quick. See how that works. And uh, yeah, it should be up the next day. Um, this video, particularly the the blog, maybe a day after. Like, I mean, like not the next day, I mean, a day after it. Because I gotta edit it and, of course, see uh, how I'm gonna edit it too. Because this is my first time really doing a blog. And, um, yeah, and of course I have work the next day, so that's going to be, oh God, I'm tired and I need to wake up the next day to work. Fuck, I got to turn to reality. Why can't this be my job? Anyways, again, what me and Chris discuss about anime, um, anime, uh, C2E2, again, it, it was still nice. It was still fun to see the cosplayers interact with them and course we got to uh befriend someone and um you know talk to celebrities you know meet steve bloom um you know the vendors you know uh, get to hear their story uh, you know the c2 experience and other experiences and other cons and you know about their art where they got the inspiration from uh, and some of them actually do you know know what they're talking about and you know again again it, it's, it was so much fun and um but again maybe like i said maybe for us particularly me and chris it probably is uh con fatigue because we've been going to the same con a lot but then again i, I mean chris goes to a lot well i just go to maybe one or two and you know, maybe that's why since I've been exposed to C2 too many times, about four or five times, maybe it's time to give it a little rest. You know, again, I go there every year, you know, it's 
basically a year for me to go to the comic to see 2E2, but still, I know I, I know what to expect, basically. Maybe meet a celebrity, and see, maybe, because again, I go, again, I collect mostly art, not much toys, but if I see a toy, cool, but then again, they will, they will have a variety of toys compared to like, uh, Godzilla Fest, where most most of most of the merchandise will be related to Godzilla versus Anime Con. Most of the items will be related to anime. This one will be a mix of both, a mix of all three. To be honest, a little bit of uh, and no, no, sorry, a little bit of uh, Godzilla, somewhat decent amount of anime, a good amount of, like superhero slash uh, nerdy stuff, like you know Transformers, GI Joe, Lego expensive stuff too um like thousands of dollars worth i mean you saw like uh, the videos like the prices uh what they were offering like for like the joker statue i believe that was a thousand dollars uh and like the the one piece characters and, like, 150 or something like that i don't i don't remember the prices but it's like oh, shit um but yeah 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 again regardless on my experience, I don't want you to think like, oh, since his experience was like this, maybe I don't think I should go to see. No, 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 no. Here's the thing again. Let me enunciate this. Let me really get this message uh, uh, straight ahead for you guys. It all what I've been saying about C2, me being a little fatigue of it, and then you know having the spark back and then not back and la 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 la. It's exclusively, exclusively my opinion on it. I still love it. I still had tons of fun, but still felt a little something was missing, but I was never, never disappointed with it. I wasn't satisfied, but I was still never, I was still wasn't disappointed. So please, again, like Chris said, if you're new to it, maybe a day maybe two days worth it so you get the full experience and then again second it to decide what would you like to buy or if you would prefer to buy something like you know i saw something i would want to go back and get it you know stuff like that um but again maybe because i'm basically a veteran i've seen enough of it but who knows there is a chance. I, so there's still a high chance I will still go for next year's. Maybe the experience will be different. Maybe I'll be more open about it. Like, um, you know, really be excited. But I get who knows. Who knows? It, it could be the timing off because it usually happens in the spring, not in the summer. So the heat, you know, yeah, traveling there in the heat, it was so god. And um, you know. Whatever they're going on with the prices, of course. I understand why some of the prices are a bit steep and some of them are, oh, come on now, you're just pulling my leg. Um, again, like with the fucking uh, Joker toy, again, I found it at a good, reasonable price, lower than actual market price. Like, eh, not too much, but still reasonable. Fuck. Compared to someone um, wanting it uh, for 150, sorry, 120, 150, whatever, well, 100 or something. Ridiculous, okay? Re fucking ridiculous. I get it. These are a bit hard to find androids, um, and again, I'm not sure if this is like the first wave of release. I don't remember when I tried to order it. I don't know if it was sold out or not. Most likely, it was. And this is just, oh, well, finally it got released. Or this is a reissue. I'm not sure. I didn't ask. I should have, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll do my re I'll probably do my research a little bit when I um when I do the video of it. And of course there's a lot of things I gotta do. Of course, you know, I gotta um hang my wall, you know, with all the posters I got. And uh, the toys, you know, like Fat Gum, and of course I got a new, I got a new toy in the mail. So I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but it runs with Mania. Okay, it runs with Mania. Um, 
But yeah, again, still had a great time. Still recommend the con to first timers, to people who go there, C2E2 again all the time. I actually want to know your opinion if you ever, if you do some of my blog about C2. What do you guys uh, felt about this year's uh, C2E2? Did you felt like it was pretty much normal, or maybe was there something off about it too? Again, I cannot confirm or deny something fell off. At least to me, it felt like it did. But I I really don't know. But again, what the hell am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know really. But yeah, again, I really enjoyed my time there, and it, again, it was still amazing to see Chris again, and you know, spending three days with him at the con, and uh, get to meet some friends, and making new ones again, talking to vendors that uh, are brand new to me or vendors that I remember buying a product of them and repurchasing something again, like the guy, like the Stitch guy. You know, I remember him from last year. Uh, I think I showed you, I don't know if I showed you a picture of him or not, of his uh, thing. If I did, I'll, sh I don't what, sorry. Uh, I think I did when I filmed, like in my hallway, like there's, you know, the art pictures. I think I showed a little bit of it, if not. If not, I bought a product from him before and seeing him, he was going, to going back there, I was excited to buy more of his stuff. Because again, I... Stitch is my favorite character from Disney. I love him, and of course, I'm, I was excited to buy a product from him. So, again, again, that was good parts and that was bad parts of the comp, but that's pretty much every, everything else with life, isn't it? Um, but yeah, again, the, these were the behind the scenes of the con, at least the blog parts of what it looked like before I was going to go and what it looked like when I was coming back from it. Um, again, hopefully you enjoyed the video, this video, and of course the main one, the C2E2 actual video. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy everything. And also, before I sign out, I noticed that my channel's been growing again. Particularly a bit larger. I'm almost at 60, 60 subscribers, which honestly... I'm surprised. I, I'm not, not. I'm not joking. I know we're like, oh, it's growing, and I want to thank. I want to take this time to thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I talked about it in my uh, fifty uh, subscription uh, mark. The, the reason I, I pretty much just do this because of you guys and um, seeing that my videos are being noticed and people commenting that they like it and everything and when I showed it off and people have the reactions so it's basically overall it's an amazing feeling really and knowing that people are subscribing to watch more of uh, the things I do, the stupid jokes I do, the rage I do when I play Cuphead, or the silly jokes I did when and I played uh, uh, Capra Full Body, like, dude, like, ooh, boobies, and all that, or um, when I play Spider-Man, swinging around the webs, or, uh, I, I don't know, uh, Resident Evil when I was Lady Dimitras, fuck you, it's all about Heinzeberg, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just glad you guys find joy in them, and yeah, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the channel. Hopefully you'll stay for a while, and hopefully you guys will recommend it to more people and to grow this community. And hopefully, hopefully, one day makes a difference. I don't know what that will be, but when the time comes. It, it something will come from it I hope and you know just I don't know what's the word I'm looking for just 
What's a word? I'm lost, to be honest. I'm lost right now. Um, I, don't, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but just hang in tight. We'll, we'll do something. And, of course, you know, if, if you just describe and why I call you mops, members of pool, that's why it's mops. So, yeah. Welcome to new subscribers. Thank you to current subscribers who are still with us. And if you're watching, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Join the army of pool. And yeah. Again, if you are interested in going to C2E2, apparently they're already announcing the tickets for C2E2 2023, which is what's it's a bit interesting. They're like, already? And you can buy the tickets already? I did not purchase mine just yet because I still like I you well know, I spend a good amount of money so I'm like yeah I don't have money to spend on more tickets even though I'm not gonna attend till next year but again if I will go I will make an announcement of course in the video and no I'm not like a booth tender into like a, no 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 I'm just announcing I'm just gonna be running around buying stuff and if you do see me please just say hi or hello or you know if you want a picture that's fine. Uh, I mean, I took a lot of pictures to be honest. Uh, a scout, and, you know. Again, it was it was it was fun. It was fun. But yeah. And again, mops. I'll say it one more time, and all the time. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being with me. And thank you for those who will subscribe in the future. Thank you. Nothing is not not nothing. Uh, all this wouldn't be possible without you really you guys are the reason why I continue to make videos and why I push myself more to have better ideas to make more content to have oh skits like oh this and that so yeah thank you so please like comment share subscribe and this is Mark Poole signing in